Thompson for Outside Insiders, just on my morning ride. Um, I saw a bit of uh, Insiders before I left home and um, <laughs> most of the hour was spent uh, criticising the Morrison government. Uh, there was some brief mention of the uh, lockdowns that occurred in Victoria last year. Um, I, I've spent, uh, I don't know, uh, four or five months uh, in the last 12 months lockdown in, uh, in Melbourne. And um, it's certainly been uh, no fun, but uh, as a retired Commonwealth public servant, my income hasn't uh, diminished at all as a result of uh, all of these lockdowns. I just feel dreadfully sorry for uh, private business people, especially in Melbourne, but in uh, wider Victoria, who have uh, been subject to lockdown provisions for months and months and months, thanks to, in my opinion, the negligence and incompetence of the Dan Andrews government and his ministers and uh, appointed bureaucrats in some cases, uh, uh, otherwise uh, uh, longer term bureaucrats who were responsible for some of the decisions. But as you may recall, I seem to recall from the purported hotel quarantine security inquiry that no one could remember who made any decisions during that time. Meanwhile, Many, many people have been arrested and fined, including, as I recall, a pregnant woman in Ballarat who was arrested and handcuffed in her home because apparently she had posted something on Facebook. She got uh, arrested and I guess uh, will be before the courts at some point and or fined, but uh, Dan Andrews and James Molino and all the characters, the uh, cast of characters who were apparently involved in the decision making and the administration of the hotel quarantine security fiasco, uh, as far as I'm aware, have not uh, been penalised whatsoever. Um, I, was, uh, I was shocked when I heard that Dan Andrews had been taken to hospital because I'd been hoping he would have been taken to jail. Bill Thompson for Outside Insiders, uh, whilst I'm out exercising this morning, have a good day. I might add in closing that, uh, in my opinion, Dan Andrews and Co's incompetence and negligence led to the deaths of over 750 people in Victoria during uh, 2020, the hotel quarantine uh, security fiasco. Uh, so, <laughs> as far as I'm aware, none of, none of the restaurateurs and uh, citizens who are being fined in the current uh, lockdown uh, circumstances uh, were responsible for anyone's death, but uh, Dan and crew, in my opinion, are uh, culpable uh, in relation to the deaths of the 750 plus people in Victoria, and they appear to be getting off scot-free, and I think it's an absolute disgrace.